Pua. Pua. What's going on guys, it's Flux here, and this is a quick video on how to record a video for Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And now you're probably thinking, um, if you have tried this before, you'll probably notice that it does not work with Fraps and some other recording softwares, and that's because Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is kind of a unique game in the way that it's not considered a full screen game, and so whenever you record it with something like this, it won't pick it up as a full screen game. You're going to have to use something like this, oh, um, which will record just your screen normally, and sorry about that. Um, when I record in 1080p, for some reason, um, with the screen like this, Hypercam uses way too much of my CPU and messes stuff up. Anyway, uh, that's besides the point. Okay, so let's get started here. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is Audacity, which records your microphone audio, and it's the best for this because it, you know, awesome quality and gets this whole part kind of separated from the rest. So you're going to want to go up here, first of all, when you launch it, um, and set your microphone to whatever microphone you have, and it may not appear right away. You may have to go to your control panel, audio, and then uh, set your microphone to default or something like that to find it. Don't know exactly how it's gonna work, but uh, basically that should work at the end of that. And then you can go back, and I have the uh, the both of these, like the playback and the uh, recording audio all the way up, because for me, it's really quiet. I don't know how it is for you, I meant to play around with that a little bit, but basically that's how it works. Um, Okay, and then we have uh, Hypercam, which is the main thing you're gonna need. Uh, you're gonna want to set it to uh, width and height at your um, your game uh, your game uh, dimensions. So basically, probably 720 by 1080 or 720 by 1280 by 720. Sorry, that's probably the one you're gonna have to use if you're recording Tycoon 2 at the full 19 or 16 by 9 screen view. Also, you're gonna want to um, you're going to want to make sure to click leave hypercam window open and then just kind of leave it open in the background while you launch the game because if you have any of these other ones uh, open, the second you hit record, it's going to minimize it and then it's going to go back to your desktop right whenever you're uh, starting the recording and you don't want that while it's playing the game. So um, make sure to have that set to leave hypercam window open then just leave it here like this. It's probably the easiest way to do anyway. Um, and then also another word of warning, whenever you're recording, um, make sure these are set to zero and zero, and then make sure to turn off any extra monitors you have plugged in because for some reason while you're recording, um, it will, <clears throat> it will like change the X and the Y for some reason. I don't know why it does this. And then it'll like move the dement, like where you're recording from a little bit and it'll give you like black bars and different spots and stuff like that you don't want. So I advise, uh, to make sure this is set to zero, zero and turn off all extra monitors before starting the recording. Um, now for the sound, basically what's happening is this is this Audacity is recording your uh, game or your uh, microphone audio, and then this is going to record the video and your game volume. So you're going to want to set this to stereo mix, which I almost guarantee will not be there. And if it's not, you're going to have to scroll down to set uh, to default recording device, and then you're going to go to control panel, hardware and sound, sound, and then under recording. Um, there might be a stereo mix here, in which case you just click on it and then click set default. Um, but if that's not working, then you're going to have to go um, to properties and then show hidden devices. And that should pull up the stereo mix, in which case you can hit set default. Uh, once you do that, it should actually eventually recognize the stereo mix and then it should be in this drop list. That way you don't have to deal with switching the default recording device and everything. And also before you record, if you do do that, you're going to have to close both of these because it kind of messes it up whenever you change the default device. Um, whenever you have things like this open. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I would just say whenever you do the recording, uh, the best way to do it is to open Audacity and then click the record button and then you can leave it running while you're going over to uh, make sure this is just sitting here open and then open up Tycoon 2. And then when it's open, make sure you have a hotkey set. I have an F9 set. Um, and then you're just going to... Um, Give yourself a little countdown and then hit the start button. And then when you do that, you can go back in the editing later and you can cut out that little bit of the countdown. That way uh, it's easier to find where you are and, um, you know, make it all sync up and perfect. Uh, and then at the end, always make sure to uh, save first before you quit because um, whenever you press F9 to stop the recording or whatever your hotkey is, um, it will minim or like it'll pull this thing or minimize it something and do something with it. And it'll actually minimize your game. And the game crashes all the time from that, as you probably have uh, seen me do plenty of times in um, my series. So, uh, yeah, make sure to do that. And um, then you should be set. So that was a quick video on how to record 
Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 and any other um, non full screen game for that matter. Uh, it should work with everything. I'll probably put this on Reddit because people there also wanted to hear this. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this, this uh, quick video, and I'll see you next time.